Okay, so 1.6 grams of zinc powder is what we need. You can also use a scoopula. That's a chunk of zinc, I think. We'll see, I'll try breaking it up. This is definitely in excess. Go ahead and write that number down. Okay, so we are ready to add the zinc powder. Um, it's supposed to do it by uh, open window with good ventilation, but since I'm the only person in here, I'm just gonna use a watch glass on top and stir it if I need to. So I'm gonna add this. Let me zoom in on solution so you can see how this reaction goes here real quick. Hang on. Add this a little bit at a time just so you can see this reaction take place. I don't know if you can see again, remember, look at what it looks like and then how it changes. Okay. I did crush up the lump though earlier. Um, this is quite hot, it's a very exothermic reaction. I'm going to break up the clumps here in a little bit. Just waiting for the main part of the reaction to complete. Oof. That's actually steam generated by the reaction. I'll let that complete. And you can see around the edges here, little bubbles, like for example, right, right in here. You can see where my flexion of my finger is there. All right, those are little tiny pieces of zinc reacting with the hydrochloric acid in solution. Try to break that up a little bit. Once this reaction's done, then the last part for us is to isolate the copper. That'll again involve washing and decanting of the solution. So I'll pause the video here, this will take a few minutes, and then uh, when we come back, we'll do the sort of washing and decanting part. Okay, so we're ready to decant into our waste beaker, and we'll try to do that without losing any copper. I've let it settle for quite a while, so it should be pretty good. It's done a really good job of separating without losing any of the copper. You'll notice it all stayed down, all stayed down at the bottom right there. That's what our copper looks like right now. So now what we're gonna do is rinse this a couple of times. So I'm gonna add some deionized water to it first, just to get rid of some of the waste material. And then we'll go through a series of rinsings with acetone and uh, the acetone rinsings are primarily to get rid of water and acetone is fingernail polish remover. And if you've ever used it like a paint, 
thinner kind of material, you know it evaporates quickly. Now you look at that, you see how cloudy that is. There's a lot of copper floating around. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna set it down and I'll let that settle out. I'll stir it around a little bit like this. I'll let that settle down before I decant. There we are for the second decanting. It has finally settled pretty well. Try to get as much of the water out as I can without losing much copper. It's basically impossible not to lose a little copper. I'll let it settle again before I do the rest. So I went ahead and did the decanting. I'm gonna go ahead and rinse this with the acetone and we're gonna actually do this a couple of times. It'll help it dry a little bit faster. Uh, but you can see inside of here, there's quite a bit of pretty good looking copper. And you see those little islands floating on the top. That's from surface tension. Um, that's actually like copper crystals that formed. So for this next part, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. Um, I'll try to modify the procedure so it correctly reflects what we're doing. I'm actually gonna weigh this beaker and then, oh, we've gotta wait for that to tear properly. Yeah, I'm gonna weigh this beaker. And what we're gonna do is, um, we're gonna add the copper to this and let it evaporate in here and then we'll re-weigh it and then that'll give us the mass of the copper um, in, uh, in our product, okay? So take this down as the mass of the beaker and the next time we do this, we'll do it with the product in here after it's dried. So I decanted, and now I'm floating the beaker in the water bath. Um, it's very hot. I've turned it off, actually. Um, but you can see the crystals already drying in the bottom. They look powdery, right? So we'll let that sit there for a few minutes, maybe five minutes. And then we'll come back to it, and hopefully um, everything will be dry. And then we'll weigh the beaker with the product in it and we'll see how much copper we collected. All right, so this looks really dry on the inside. So I'll go ahead and wipe this off. It's pretty hot. That water was pretty close to boiling when I started. And you can see it looks nice and powdery on the inside. I'll hold this up so you can see it. Tilt it like that. So we'll go and weigh that and we'll see how much copper we got. Okay, so I've teared the balance out. And we'll put this copper on there and we'll see how much it weighs. Remember, we have the mass before the copper was added and now we have the mass after. And there's, oh. Okay, so there's the final mass.